only have a few minutes till I get to work, but I want to I want to say something. I was listening to Hugh Hewitt this morning, and he was talking about um, the shooting in the church yesterday and the stabbings in in the shul Matzei Shabbos, and he compared the two, and he said. He said the, the one in the church was clearly not ideological, it was clearly mental illness, whereas the one in the synagogue, in the shul, he actually said, but he mistakenly said Friday night, uh, that was clearly ideological because anti-Semitism is the oldest form of hatred and so forth. And I'll have to, I'll have to argue with him. Uh, we don't know very much about what happened, why this happened. We know what happened, we don't know why. But the one thing is that his family, you know, he pled not guilty, and his family said that he's been suffering from mental illness. This is also mental illness. We don't have to politicize every thing, you know, and I think the wisest approach here is the approach that this really great rabbi, this, this, this rabbi Rottenberg, the Kostner Rebbe, is an incredible person. I don't know him. I never met him. Maybe I think I might have seen him, or one of his brothers. All his brothers are all rebels. Uh, I remember just was was walking in the street in Bloomingburg once. He was a guest for Shabbos somewhere. That's all I really. Uh, I don't. I, I don't really know these rebels. But I'm so impressed by his reaction. How he's he's living life like normal, like nothing happened. Going back it, right away, right after, and that's how we're. And I, I I'm struggling. I wasn't even there, and it's like it has a, a, a psychic uh, impact on me and a psychological impact on me. Um, to to uh, to see this uh, going on, but. Uh, to, to go like this, you know, to hear that something like this happened, it really, really, uh, it's, it, 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 it's bothering me very much. But the uh, Kostner Rebbe is going on like nothing happened. And, you know, the Bench and, uh, and, and, uh, he talked about it, but they were singing Chasti Hashem. They had a uh, sacred Torah yesterday. And he said, and he wrote, he said, you know, we have to just go on with joy and faith. This is what we need. This is this is the message. And this is, and, and you know, we always have to, it's a wake up call to repent. And this is it. And, it, and uh, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, it's it's an amazing amazing thing how this tzaddik is reacting to this this horrible attack in his own home because you know I, I I don't I don't think I could handle it that way you know uh, other things maybe I do handle you know uh, in my own way. But, um, you know, when my father died, I just went, it was like nothing happened almost, you know. But when I lost my, my job in the shul, I lost my mind. I, I don't know. So, but uh, this lesson of trying to figure out how to be balanced and normal, and, and not to politicize, he's not politicizing it, you know, it's really an inspiration. You know, as much as everybody wants to politicize all these things, and I and I have that in me too. And and uh, this tzaddik, this this rebbe, this kasna rebbe, is a real inspiration. I, I'm just so amazed, and it and it, it just uh, it's so heartwarming to see this this authentic Torah message of just live life and serve God and have faith and don't and don't let anything bother you. I, I hope I can absorb that. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you all later. 
Happy Zeus Chanukah. We should have a, a Gemar Chasimah Teva.